In November 2010, astronomers using NASA's Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope announced an astonishing discovery. Emanating from the center of our Milky Way galaxy are two bubbles made solely of powerful gamma rays. As you can see from pictures, these bubbles emanate above and below the galaxy. If they were centered in the galaxy, then we could explain them. But these bubbles are tangent to the galaxy in an hourglass shape. These bubbles are enormous, taking up half the sky and are almost 7 million degrees Fahrenheit. Scientists have reached a common expression on what has caused this. We have absolutely no idea. But let us go through what we do know about these mysterious bubbles. It would have been strange enough if the bubbles expanding at 2.2 million miles per hour or 3.5 million kilometers per hour were concentric, as in a bubble within a bubble, with both centered at the galaxy's core. But no, the two enormous spheres each hover in seemingly empty space above and below the black hole in the Milky Way's nucleus. They are tangent to each other, touching at the galactic center to form a squat hourglass shape. The entire structure, therefore, looks like the number 8 or a sideways infinity symbol. Gamma rays are the bad boys of the electromagnetic spectrum the highest energy photons in the universe. To review high school physics, a photon's energy is a function of its wave's length. Radiation, whose waves are a mile apart, radio waves, are weak and benign. Visible light has microscopically close together waves. X-rays, and especially gamma rays, are crammed together with the maximum number of wave crests passing at a given point per second. Because of this, gamma rays do not reliably reflect off of objects the way that visible light does. Rather, they penetrate stuff. Their photons drill through human bodies at the speed of light, damaging chromosomes along the way. But fortunately, few gamma rays reach us here at Earth's surface. Although the sun creates copious gamma rays in its fusion furnace, they are absorbed and re-radiated as gentler forms of light as they squirm upward to the solar surface. What finally flies away from the sun is a roughly 50-50 mixture of heat and visible light and virtually no X-rays or gamma rays at all. Other stars don't emit them either. And in any case, the Earth's atmosphere blocks them. The only gamma rays flying near us come from distant violent events like supernovas. This is why a dense gamma ray swarm in our galaxy's center is so puzzling. It is the unmistakable sign of extreme violence. And yet, these days, the Milky Way's core is about as energetic as a steamy July lunchtime in the New Orleans. These bubbles are sharp-edged, well-defined, and nothing short of enormous. The top and bottom of the figure 8 extends 25,000 light-years above the galactic plane and the same distance beneath it. From our sideways viewpoint, 26,000 light years from the Milky Way center, the hourglass stands at a whopping 45 degrees above and below the galactic core in the constellation of Sagittarius. It takes up half of our southern sky. Theorists need to explain more than just what could have produced this kind of extreme energy which is equivalent to a hundred thousand exploding supernovas. They must also explain the off-center nature of the bubbles because each seemingly surrounds absolutely nothingness. The director of the astrophysics division at NASA summed up the discovery at a press conference. It shows, once again, that the universe is full of surprises. So true, the universe never fails to bewilder us with its strange, unbelievable objects. But if you want all the information that we do have on the mysteries and miracles of outer space, do check out our channel and other videos. Subscribe if you haven't already and leave a like if you learned something new.
from this video. Let us know in the comments your thoughts and feelings on the strange Fermi bubbles. Thanks for watching. Have a lovely day.